Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I would like for you to try not to be jealous of the wings that my hair is doing naturally. This is all natural. I didn't do anything to it. Wow. Um, when my father was sick and had cancer, um, after I told people the initial diagnosis, my dad has cancer. People were very like, I'm very sorry, Jamie. Okay. I had never known anyone who had cancer before. I didn't know how at 16 people should react. I didn't know what should be offered. My dad was sick for six months before he died. Nobody ever brought it up again. Not a teacher, not a friend, not a friend's parent, nothing. Nobody ever brought it up. Nobody ever asked if I needed to talk. Nobody ever asked how I was doing, ever. Um, I remember when we were filming Jersey Bell and after, you know, Danielle, my love, struggles with infertility and some other things. And I would always bring it up off camera to yesterday, right now, all the time. And it would make some of the other girls uncomfortable. Why do you always ask her how it is or what she's doing? Because death, cancer, infertility, divorce, depression, all of these things are magnified by loneliness. I know because I lived through it. My dad was sick. No one ever talked about it. Then he died. We sat Shiva. I'm very sorry, Jamie. And then life went on. No one said, maybe she needs to go to therapy. Maybe we should sit down and talk to her. It was like easier for everybody to pretend it wasn't happening. And again, I didn't have any other experience. I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know that I needed to talk. Everybody was acting like it wasn't something that we needed to talk about. So I assumed that maybe... It wasn't something people wanted to talk about. Um, my husband has often talked about going through situations in his life where he felt completely alone. And when I ask people in his life why they didn't talk to him about it or why they didn't offer him any help, they say we just assumed if he wanted to talk about it, he would have brought it up. Something like infertility is the most emotionally paralyzing experience. It's like being on a roller coaster with no end of the ride in sight. You're just constantly up and down and it doesn't feel good. Imagine going through that with nobody talking to you about what you're going through. Nobody saying, are you okay? Do you want to meet for coffee? Can I come over and sit with you? What can I do? Any situation that someone may be going through, they have a sick child, a new diagnosis, they're sick, their parents are sick, infertility, depression, the greatest gift you can give somebody is your ear, is your time. Just be there. Ask them if they want to talk. And if they don't want to talk, give, carve out 30 minutes, an hour of your time to take them out of what it is they're dealing with. Sure, they may seem distracted, but the effort will go so far very few people did anything for me over and above the I'm sorry, Jamie. 
when my father was sick and when he died. But the few tiny things that people did outside of that, I will never forget. The reason that I always check in with Danielle, always ask her how she's feeling, how she's doing, if she wants to talk, push her out of her comfort zone. When I try to talk and she tries to clam up and I push her further to let it out is because some people will never ask for help. They will suffer silently thinking they don't want to put it on anyone else. They don't want to be a burden. I have a friend who has a child who was diagnosed with something right in kindergarten around five and none of the other parents talked to her about it. None of them asked her about it. It was as if it wasn't happening. She should just not talk about it. There's a woman, a mom at our school whose daughter died at home when she was a year old. And I say to her, I ask her about that daughter. I ask her how she's doing. And other people get so uncomfortable. Oh, she's talking about her dead daughter. I can't. It's like, when I wrote the article about losing our baby, people actually said to me, why do you have to bring it up? Just, just let it go. Well, no, I don't want to let it go. And I have let it go. But pretending it didn't happen or it doesn't exist, you see this? Sadness right here? If I never talk about it, I'll explode one day. So people often ask me, what can I do for my friend? Her husband had an affair. I don't know what to do. Talk about it. Ask her how she's doing. Ask her what you can do to help. She's got cancer. Don't be scared. Go to chemo with her. Go to a doctor's appointment. Make her cards. Bake her a cake. I don't know. Something. But don't act like none of these things are happening. Infertility is real and it sucks. Cancer is real and it sucks. Baby loss is real and it sucks. Depression is real and it sucks. Just be there. Don't be the person who pretends it's not happening. There's nothing worse than feeling like you are alone in your darkest hour. That was deep for a Wednesday. I had to get it off my chest. I love you so much today. And if you are going through something, anything, we want to know how you are doing. I love you today. Have a great day.